Welcome to a tutorial on how to add or subtract rational expressions on the TA-89 graphing calculator. Because we're working with variable expressions, it's important that we start a new problem from the cleanup menu. So we'll press F6 by pressing second F1, then select option two for new problem, and then enter. This clears the home screen and also clears any values stored for any variables. And now we can use the common denominator function from the algebra menu to determine each sum and difference. So we'll press F2 for the algebra menu, and notice how number six is the common denominator function. So you can either arrow down to number six and press enter, or just press the number six. Looking at the first sum, we can now enter one over x plus one over y. So we'd have one divided by x plus one divided by y. Notice how I made a mistake here, so I'll press the back arrow or backspace, then the y, close parenthesis, and enter. The sum is the quantity x plus y divided by xy. Let's go ahead and write this down. And now let's find this difference. So F2 for algebra, number six for common denominator, and now we'll enter one, divided by, we will need the denominator in a set of parentheses, so open parenthesis x plus y, close parenthesis, minus one divided by, open parenthesis x minus y, close parenthesis, another close parenthesis for the common denominator function, and enter. It is important to recognize that if we did not have parentheses around the x plus y and the x minus y, this would not be entered correctly. We now know the difference is a negative 2y over the quantity x squared minus y squared. When using the common denominator function, the denominator is always going to be multiplied out. So if we want it in factored form, we can come back and do this using the factor function under the algebra menu. But let's first write this down in this form. The difference is equal to negative 2y divided by the quantity x squared minus y squared. In most textbooks though, they do leave the denominator in factored form. Let's also show that form. So going back to the calculator, we'll factor the denominator of x squared minus y squared by pressing F2 for algebra, and then number two for factor, and then enter x raised to the power of two minus y raised to the power of two, close parenthesis and enter. Notice the factored form is the quantity x plus y times the quantity x minus y. So we can also express this difference in this form here. Let's look at one more example. For this example, we will need parentheses around the numerators and denominators. So again, F2 number six, open parenthesis x minus two, close parenthesis, divided by, open parenthesis x squared minus four x, plus three, close parenthesis, and then plus, open parenthesis, four x, close parenthesis, divided by, open parenthesis, x squared, minus x, minus six, close parenthesis for the denominator, another close parenthesis for the common denominator function, and enter. So this is the sum. Again, notice how the denominator is multiplied out. We'll come back and factor this in a moment. Let's go ahead and write this down. And now let's factor the denominator. The numerator is not going to factor. So we'll press F2 for algebra, number two for factor, and then enter the denominator of x raised to the power of three minus two x raised to the power of two minus five x plus six, close parenthesis, and enter. So the denominator in factored form is these three binomial factors. The quantity x minus three times the quantity x minus one times the quantity x plus two. I hope you found this helpful.